Wow, I'm poor. Hello everybody, welcome back to Stardew Valley. In the last episode, we did something kind of important. We got all of the money that we needed for the vault bundles, and we also bought the vault, bu vault, vault bundle. It's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind tomorrow. And the luck, this is kind of important, I suppose. Good humor, all right. So, seeing how we did finish up the vault, but oh. Oh, good morning, Mr. Rock. Okay, I was wondering when this was going to happen, because we did hit 60 items in the museum last night. Hope it's not too early. Well, I just wanted to stop by and thank you in person for one of the for all of the wonderful artifacts and minerals you've discovered. You've done so much for one person. In fact, I've just received a letter from the office at the Regional Secretary of Artifacts. We're being honored with the coveted Golden Shovel Award for our significant contributions to the field. And it's all thanks to you. Well, I should let you get back to your work. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. It's an old key that's been sealed in the museum vault for at least 100 years. It's a little rusty, but still beautiful. Okay, this is the rusty key. It's been added to our wallet. It's about time too. So, you might have remembered that cutscene that we had all the way back in spring, way back in spring, where the two kids were playing at the sewer. That is the key to enter it. I'd like to buy a pumpkin from you. My daughter and I want to carve a jack-o'-lantern jack for the upcoming Spirit's Eve Festival. That's right, that's the next one. It's Halloween, as you could probably guess. I guess I forgot to fill one of these. Anyway, uh, so I think we have pretty obvious things to do. Hopefully I can fit it all in. I'm gonna need a little bit of money, to be honest. So, I don't know, maybe our stuff is uh, popping. But, number one, we're going to check out the bus. The bus that I should not try to milk my pig. Hold on, there we go. The bus is now up and running. Thanks to the Junimo cutscene that we saw last night. Are these ready? Oh, the purple just made it look like they were ready. Uh, nothing's ready right now. Now we did have 17 spaces that I need to fill here and that's something that we're going to take care of after we get on the bus, geez, it's a lot of maple trees. So that'll be helpful. Let's see. Guess I'll just do the rest of my chores. So I'm actually gonna take the coffee beans we have and I'm gonna place them in the kegs. You'll notice that it takes five at a time, which is different from every other thing. You can probably take a random guess at what it's going to make, but yeah, that'll be cool. Uh, I don't really have anything that I wanna put into these for now, so I'm just gonna fill them all with blackberries. And that'll do it. Now, we wouldn't happen to have specifically a peach in here, would we? No. But we do, however, have the last apple that we need for the bundles. So I can use that whenever I'm ready to use it, which is probably not going to be today. We already have a lot on our plate. Uh, we do need to go to the traveling trader, traveling cart, rather, because I want to... Mm, I probably won't even have enough money to do it if uh to buy what we need even if it is there but let's check anyway that'll be the first thing and then we'll head to hmm we'll head to the store to sell some stuff because i do need a little bit of cash and then we'll we'll see where we are from there what do we have leek goat milk poppy seeds sunfish tulip coleslaw acorn oh not good coffee beans and rare crow though apparently so you if you see this here and you have all the money to spare you should buy it because the event that it is for sale for is actually on sale for five thousand so you save a thousand if you're going for all the rare crows that is so just a little tip oh hey look at this already ready yeah these get uh finished really quick so you can pop out a lot of those per day which is good because you use a lot of them. That's coffee, it increases your speed by one and it's actually very important because it's the only drink in the game that increases your speed by one. And drinks, drinks, drink increases stack with food increases. So that's important if you want plus two speed from eating something that also gives you a speed boost. Uh, there's a little something different right here. Pam's standing at the bus. We're not gonna mess with that for now. I'll come back in a second when I have more money. Another lost library book. I guess I'm not too 
too rushed to get all of the artifacts at this point because, I mean, we've already gotten 60 and that's kind of the real spot that you want to hit. What do we have here? Looking for someone to bring me 40 copper ores. Oh, God. Yeah, good luck with that. Maybe tomorrow if we're lucky. Uh, Robin's birthday is on the 21st. She's not too terribly easy to get things for, but... Hello! I just need to sell everything, thank you. I might as well sell the ha hazelnuts, I'm never gonna use them. Bread, yeah. So that brings us up to 5,000. Beautiful. Good, perfect, actually. I think for long-term saving, the next thing that we're going to end up saving up for is... Do I have all my hearts with Abigail yet? No. The next thing I'm going to end up saving up for is going to be the big coop because that's going to allow us to get ducks, which we do need for bundles. All right. What's up, Pam? Hey, did you hear about the old bus? Yep, I'm back on the saddle, kid. <laughs> Feels nice. I love the nice little uh, star. Very good dialogue for someone who we are very good friends for. Yeah, so you can buy a ticket for $1,000. I kind of skipped over that little text box but yeah that was a thousand gold that we just paid there so not cheap but it's worth it welcome to the desert i love the desert big fan there's a couple of things to note here first of all we have the desert trader over here who trades in everything except gold basically you can get bombs for Quartz, which actually, you know what? I might end up bringing quartz here sometime because I have a lot of quartz. You can get warp totems for the desert. So even if the bus isn't up and running for some reason, which I believe, oh, there's a few days it isn't going. Uh, you can get a warp totem to warp here immediately. Plus you have to wait for Pam to actually get there to the bus, which is at like 930. So it's a little bit of wasted time if you're trying to get here as soon as possible. Double bed for a pearl. It's actually really pretty. Magic cowboy hat for 333 Omni Geodes. A couple of crazy things here, I will say. Butterfly hutch is pretty neat. Uh, the recipe for desert totems is for 10 Iridium bars, which we obviously don't have. Cheese for an emerald. Uh, if you do have the artisan goods increase, which you can get at level 10 farming, the cheese will be worth more than the emerald. So, infinite money? I guess uh, Spicy Eel increases your speed and luck. It's a great item to go into the mines with, so keep that in mind. You can cut down the cactuses, I believe. No, you can't, but you can cut down the coconut trees. Speaking of coconut trees... Coconuts. These are one of Haley's loved items, so that's easy loving for her. And then we have the oasis down here. Also keep an eye out for the worm spots, the artifact treasure dot spots, because there's a few unique treasures here. A customer? Hi, welcome to Sandy's Oasis. Hey, you look just like the new farmer that Emily wrote to me about. Then the bus line to Stardew Valley is back in service. Oh, I'm so happy. This is Sandy. I curse every day that she is not romanceable. What's up? Please visit again soon. I get so bored out here. She is actually a character that you have a relationship with, despite being all the way out here in the desert. In general, she likes flowers from the valley. So you have any of those just from like spring and summer foraging or any that you grew yourself, it's a good thing. However, the important thing here is what she sells. I believe the wall cactus and large green rug are random things she's selling and everything else is set. Well, she sells a random shirt. Nothing special though. Honey is interesting because I mean, we could turn that into, ooh, something in the keg and make a little bit of money. But what's interesting here is star fruit seeds. The most lucrative fruit in the game other than rare seeds in the whole game. Well, yeah, kinda. We'll, we'll see more about that later. But for now, starfruit seeds are the most you can get from anything. Unfortunately, it's not summer. It is, however, fall. And beet seeds are still really good. So I'm gonna get 17 of these. Actually, do we have, no, we don't have time for two harvests, do we? Darn it, I could have done it. Well, actually, hmm, 
Is anything else? I'll buy a few extra just in case other things die or get uh, harvested. But other than that, she has rhubarb, which is a decent spring crop, but not nearly as good as strawberries. Or I think they might be in second best to strawberries now that I think about it. And cactus seeds, which can only be grown indoors. Why not? Someday we'll be able to grow those, so might as well grab it. That's about it. This is really good for starfruit and not too much else for the moment. So we'll ignore the rest for now. I want to see if I can actually do this here. You can fish down there. Yeah, buddy. If you angle your rod to the right, which you hold right while throwing it out. This is not easy. Holy moly. What you doing there, bub? Come on. Uh, I'm not too sure about this one. Actually, maybe the trapper bobber was something I should have gotten. It really is something I should invest in, huh? Hello. This is a specific, like, way of movement that's very hard if you don't have a very high fishing skill. I'm gonna let it go for now. I'll come back when I have the treasure robber. That wasn't a fish, though. Let me tell you right now. It's actually something else that we were trying to fish up out of there. Speaking of fishing, though, there is something that you do have to fish here, and I'm going to be fishing for it. Let me just get the rest of the forageables. Not too many cactus fruit, unfortunately. I do like cactus fruit. Clay! Aiken! Uh, we got these three pillars here, which are useful for something, who's to say? Ooh, there's a cactus hidden behind the tree. No, I didn't want to throw it downwards. If you if you click one square next to your character, they will fish in that direction. Otherwise, if you click anywhere else on the screen, they just go in whatever direction they were already facing. So I'm going to be trying to fish for two different kinds of fish here. One for the specialty fish bundle and one just to complete out our fishing lists. Hey, there's the one for the specialty fish bun bundle. But now I'm going to go for the other one that should be here. Huh. Maybe that was a fish that we had down there. Okay, I didn't realize that fish was actually that hard to get. Interesting. Well, there's one other place that's important. This cave. And we're not going to be doing this today simply for the fact that our pickaxe is currently being upgraded. But... You insert the skull key into the keyhole. It's a perfect fit. You need to get to the bottom of the mines to get in here. And this is your second dungeon, baby. Armored bug. Can't be killed unless you have something from very, very, very late game. This place has a lot. I was kind of hoping for a few enemies so I could just kind of get hit with it. I don't have any bombs either, do I? No. So I can't break these open at all. Silver and gold staring at me in the face. Uh, let's see, how much damage does this do? We're at... Okay, so that did 12 damage. Not a lot compared to a lot of other enemies. I want to go into a floor that has actual enemies on it, though. Here we go. Mummies. These are going to be important. They also did a ton of damage. So they get knocked out. And then, after long enough... A la Legend of Zelda. They come back. Oh boy! These are serpents. Kind of the, the bat-like enemy of this area. They are like your biggest threat. They're so quick. Their hitbox is huge. I'm almost dead. Yeah, I'm leaving. Actually, I'm going down. Nothing here. Uh, those serpents... That was very, very dangerous of me to do. If I get knocked out here, I lose a lot of money. 10% of whatever I have, in fact. Unless you have more than, like, 10,000, then it's 1,000 every time. Um, those serpents can drop red cabbage seeds. And they are also, they also happen to be the most common enemy in here, similar to how, well, I guess bugs were the most common enemy in the mines, but... Bats were on every single floor, no matter what, so... Yeah. I'm going to be going through the Skull Caverns, I think, tomorrow. A lot better prepared with a lot more stuff. 
like bombs and everything. The Skull Caverns are no joke. If what, what just happened told you anything. Also, a lot of people seem to think that uh, this is a reference to Earthbound, Mother 2, because you take a bus to the desert. Just like Earthbound. Uh, hey, we have a little bit of time left here on the day. I'm... Actually, what I'm going to do first is refill the coffee. Bunk, bunk, bunk. And fill her up. I'm going to grab 17 fertilizers. Where are my fertilizers? Right here. And I'm going to fill in the race, rest of the places, the racist. I'm going to fill in the rest of the places on my farm first. And I'm also going to drink a coffee because movement speed. I don't have a ton of day left, so I want to be moving as fast as possible. It's not that big of a difference, but combine it with the increase of speed from a food item, uh, some other things, and you got a fast moving boy. Uh, what else do we have down here? Over here. Uh, maybe I won't bother putting fertilizer. It's not that important. But I'm going to place these rhubarb seeds in all of the spots that are empty. One right there. That's all of them, right? Yeah, it's all of them. I will go ahead and drop fertilizer on them. And then I'll go and do one more pass through placing water on them. That one's already fertilized. And go ahead and do this. Cool. And that'll be ready in a few days. 8.20, huh? Ooh, will I have enough time for this? I want to have enough time for this. So I will make time. Uh, I probably shouldn't. We know that we'll have that on the back burner sometime later down the road just i hope i don't forget and you can see that the speed buff already wore off yeah that's what the triple shot espresso or espresso is for i'm so very sorry for anyone who's a barista i will try my best to say espresso from now on i'm just gonna attend to this for a while uh it triples the amount of time that the speed buff is active but it takes three coffees to make so you know trade-off you don't have to keep drinking coffees but you have less of them to use if you don't want to use it for like the full time you're gonna be a little bit out of luck guess i'll go around and clear off some of the farm while we're here in fact you know what else i can do i can get my inventory ready for tomorrow because I already know what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and place the cactus fruit. Not all the coconuts. Actually, you know what? Eh, I should have kept the cactus fruit. I'm not going to throw all the coconuts in there because I don't know if they're used for cooking or not. So I'm just going to go ahead and slap some coconuts in there. Algae, who cares? We eat algae. It's not really... Uh, cheese? Cheese can go in there. Because why not? I didn't realize I had a cockle. I know it's late. We got things to do, though. No, not those. Yeesh. Ooh, I took out that scarecrow. It'll probably be fine. It's not on the side that has the uh, rare seeds, so... We will live. This one's getting pretty... Yeah, pretty stuffed as well. With a lot of various things. Hmm... So I need to decide what I'm going to bring. I think the roots platter is a pretty good like that but also the autumn's bounty would give us a defense increase i'll probably bring one of both bring some coffee actually i won't bring all of them i'll bring like two uh, i'm going to organize everything else out real quick oh yeah also we do have the sandfish so i can turn that in tomorrow that makes the sandfish and the apple. Well, not tomorrow, but I will eventually. These can go in there. Mix seed. Oh, man. Man. Oh, Jade Hills can go somewhere else. Also, this trash can go elsewhere. 
There. Problem solved. And Mixie'd go in there. Trash I usually keep in here. And the Jade Hills can go right in here. All right. I'm going to bring all of that quartz, actually, for bombs. Bring these bombs. Don't really need anything else, do I? I can make bombs with the iron ore we have, because I don't think we're going to need very many more iron bars at this point. Because bombs, I can't, I cannot overstate this. Bombs, good. So I'm going to make bomb. And you know what? A boy might make some mega bombs as well. Who's to say? Oh, that takes solar essence and void essence. Uh, I have them. <laughs> I have them. There. Because why not? Put all those back. So yeah. Cherry bombs, bombs, and mega bombs. Uh, fertilizer can go back. Scarecrow, eh, if I'm not going to put it out today. When will I? 10.50, okay. Uh, this is kind of looking like what I want it to look like. Move my blackberry over that way so I can eat it whenever I need to. We'll place regular bombs first, mega bombs second, cherry bombs third. See, this is the kind of thing that you need to, like, think of. I'm going to be eating these on their own, like, beforehand, so they don't need to be there. Should make this just for combat. The quartz are going to be the pickaxe, of course. Cool. Uh, yeah, I was about to say. Gotta get those last two, three things of coffee and we can start out something more significant. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. We don't really have anything big. Maybe I'll leave it open for any crops that may or may not be ready tomorrow. I don't even know if we'll have any. Maybe grapes, because grapes come up uh, every few days. Anyway, bada boom, bada bing. That was the desert. Level nine foraging of all things. Well, hey, we got a rain totem and a cookout kit. I really wish that the cookout kit came a lot earlier in the game. What it basically allows you to do is craft a cookout kit, which then you can place on the ground to be able to cook, I believe for the whole day. Uh, cook wherever you want. And I really wish... I mean, I guess it, it's important for being able to be used in a dungeon. But I wish you could use it in lieu of having a kitchen. Somewhat annoyed. I you hate to see that, but... Oh, well. Anything I can make. Sashimi's a good amount of uh, energy and health. Yeah, being able to quickly restore energy and health is going to be a little bit important. But, eh. What's the fish I have in here? Bream. I don't want to use up anything. But yeah, sashimi can be a really good, really good use for eating in the mines. Since you can put any old, really cheap item in there. You once I see you've entered the skull cavern. Well done. I've got a better challenge for you, kid. Make it to at least 25 levels deep. I've got a mountain of gold to send to you if you could do it. Sounds good to me. I'll do it then. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and do my chores. I can't really go anywhere before nine anyway. I mean, I could if I wanted to buy a desert totem, but I don't wanna. So I'll go ahead and get all that done. We'll go to Clint's to grab our gold pickaxe and I'll see you well when we're about to do that I suppose oh we do have artichokes ready look at that that's it guess it's a good thing I left those kegs open cool well yeah that's the chores for the day it gets real easy in fall I'm telling you what and I'll take all these coffees out. Um, artichokes aren't particularly great selling items, are they? They'll make juice. I know that much. But uh, I have never shipped an artichoke before, huh? Yeah, sure enough, no artichoke. Okay, let me just go slap an artichoke in the 
in the drain, I suppose. So we'll know how much that... I didn't want to put both of them in. Just one. So we'll know how much that's worth. But in the meantime, I'm pretty sure they're worth a good amount. So I'm going to go put them in the kegs. And that'll be a 2.3 times increase. Probably not as good as if it was in the preserves jar, but I really, you know, don't care. Cool. Well, I'm going to head over to Clint's. Right at nine. Give me that gold pickaxe, baby. I guess I could have brought, like, something for him to make into steel, which at that point would only be our watering can, so not too important because we already have the steel hoe even. Yeah, or a trash can because the trash can, I believe, is only, like, 2,000 for the next upgrade. Anyway, bada boom, bada bing, go to the bus stop. And you'll notice that Pam isn't actually here because she's still on her way. Like I said, she gets here at 930. But there's a trick that you can do. Where is she right now? Yep, she's walking slowly from her house all the way out here. If you stand in front of her... I think I'm probably losing time on this. She eventually gets annoyed and moves quicker and will also move straight toward through you. Need to do that again on this screen to speed her up once again. Oh, I think she actually gets there at 10, so... You can, ex you can speed it up to, uh, I guess, around 920, I think. We'll go ahead and... Oh, it's only 500? Why did I think it was 1,000? Oh, I know why it was I thought it was 1,000, because it was... Uh, it's for something else. Get excited for that. But, hey. Now it's time to make big boy decisions. Big boy money. This is scary. This is, I want you to understand, this is super scary for me. I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. So that's all ready to go. I'm going to buy bombs. Cause I really don't need, I'll leave 10 quarts. Cause I don't wanna, you know, exhaust my whole supply. And I doubt I'm going to use 29, uh, 34, 40 bombs. Also something I wanted to talk about. It's Ma gapes at the desert sun. Even in death, it yearns for a taste. What a good line. Anyway, things here spawn as slowly, uh, just about as fast as things spawn on the beach. A 2.0 ratio, whatever that's supposed to mean. Hey, now we can actually do things. Also, purple slimes, these have a chance of dropping iridium ore. Not a huge chance, obviously, but it's there. Uh, in general, you're going to be going through this kind of similar to the mines, and I do want to mention, I'm not going to speed up playing through here. Oh boy. So there's something new here. Uh, Omnigeodes are super common. There's going to be the main geode you find here. You can go downstairs or you can jump down holes. Holes can send you down a random amount of floors in exchange for health. And I'm going to do it because the lower you go, oh boy. The lower you go, the higher chance for iridium. Oh, come on. Okay, I wanted to wait until I took a little bit of damage to... Uh, should I take attack or defense? I'm gonna take defense. Take a little bit of damage before I start eating. Go down here. Oftentimes you're going to be using a lot of bombs to get down uh, quicker because you really want to be making your way down as fast as possible because you won't see very much iridium at all until you get to a certain point. Just so you know. Go to place a bomb there. Oh, uh, okay. Guess I'm killing you now. Good. Good stuff. Ugh, freesh. Avocado. Hopefully they'll spawn a staircase. Infallible defense. And hey, if I get that red cabbage seed, I'm happy. Okay, hold up. It's not a lot of health. This is going to be the strategy. And it still hit me. 
These boys do lots of damage. Thank God that ended. I won't complain about, like, getting those because I need... I need them for the red cabbage seed, but still, dude. They spawn so often, it's annoying. I'm gonna get a speed upgrade. And while we're at it, a speed upgrade. Well, actually, that'll overwrite my uh, defense bonus. Hmm. Might be over already. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, now we're fast. Now we're fast, fast. Yeah, it can be kind of rough going through here. But I'm prepared for everything. Also, apparently never finding stairs is something I'm prepared for, I suppose. Can't catch me. I've killed all the enemies on the floor, except for the eels that keep spawning. I'm gonna go through my cherry bombs first, because I feel like that makes sense. Wow, this is really shitty. This is not good at all. We're only on floor six. Okay, thank you. I mean, it is not a great luck day, so fair enough. Giant slime. Crit. Yeah, giant slimes drop more sl slimes that I really don't want to mess with too much. Oh God. Oh, it's a battle floor. Good stuff. Taking a bit more damage than I was kind of hoping to. Yeah, so uh, you can see why I'm a little uh, anxious about this. I should definitely be doing this on a better luck day, but it's the first. We just unlocked it, and I do want to show it off. I should have brought enough stone for staircases, because that's something I did not prepare for. Speaking of staircases, yes, I will do the thing. Not now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Luckily, the big slimes don't, like, actively charge at you like the small ones do. Holy moly, just don't get slimed and I'm happy, dude. And I'm slimed! Scary. Oh, my lord. They have so much HP, too. I'm once again slimed. I'm not trying to die in here. I'm not trying to lose money for no reason. We have Omni Geodes, so I guess that's a reason enough, but... I'm not trying to die. I should have brought... Uh, one thing you should probably do is cook a lot of, like, actually good healing items. Oh boy, one quartz. I'm nourished. Ugh, it might be worth leaving and coming back in, because these battle floors just don't quite do it for me. You could probably guess why. This is one of the reasons why I'm not, like, speeding through all of these. Because you need to see the effort, the absolute fear that go. Hey, straight up Iridium Bar, you love to see it. The fear that goes through the, my, my mind 24-7. While trying to go through here, there's another eel. This thing should be just about dead, right? They're so fast, they go straight through my steel katana. Or falchion, I think it is. Cool. Very, getting very, very good luck. Need my speed upgrade again. You can see how useful that can be. Big plus one health. Honestly, coffee should lower your HP. That'd be realistic. Look at that. Chased down and killed. I think this is one of the floors you actually need to kill everything. It would absolutely appear that way. The way down has appeared. Yeah, cool. Cool stuff, bud. Well, at the very least, I'd be surprised if we didn't get a HP increase, or uh, attack increase. Which is HP as well, but combat, I mean. I'm happy with that health count. Bonk, bonk. I'm just going to put a hole bomb here. Yeah, those bugs. I meant it when I said they're not destroyed by anything. Nope, see ya. If I could get, like, just a little bit of iridium. Rubies are actually really good because of the desert trader. Uh, slap this here, who cares? 
lots of enemies. You don't like to see that because enemies mean you need to kill them for a higher chance for the staircase to spawn, which is not convenient for you most of the time. Yeah, thanks for that. Hey, there we go. Womp. Okay, here we are. So let's knock out a mummy just for the heck of it. Just to get those on our list of things we've killed. Drop that bomb right there. Gives you plenty of time to do it, so don't worry about that. Miner's treat. That's really nice. That gives you a plus three to mining. I believe, if I remember right. Throw another bomb there. Oh, see if that gives us a pitfall. Nope, but it gave us a lot of stuff. Here we go. Here we go. Gonna put a uh, buddy mega bomb there. Yeah, it's a big old area that covers. Keep on moving. I can craft a staircase now. Keep that in mind. You get a lot of stone by blowing things up, I'll tell you what. Let's blow that up. Grab that. Not take damage. You don't take a ton of damage from your own things, but still. Oh boy. Not much pop in here. Bombs don't do a particularly high amount against ghosts either. These are a different kind of ghost that we saw in the... That we didn't see in the ice caverns, rather. By the way, 6 p.m., huh? Now this is a good floor. Already like what I'm seeing. Cool. Put a mega bomb. Because who cares, really? Think I should be safe here? Yeah, barely. Keep on moving. Oh, I should have stayed there. Really should have. Uh, this is looking like a floor I don't like. I'm going to be messing around a lot in here. Remember when I said I didn't think I was going to use all those bombs? I'm getting a little addicted because I haven't used them up to this point in the series. So now it's like, oh, well, I have them, right? Might as well go nuts. Bad idea to drink this coffee, but I saw that my <laughs> buff had run out, so I was like, oh, you know what? Who cares? All right. Uh, bomb that. Bomb that. Yeah, nothing. Cool. I should have knocked all of these out earlier when I saw them. Fire quartz, huh? Interesting. Blow those up. You can see how valuable bombs can be, right? Whew! Okay, cool. Oh boy. Coal there. Okay, this is a fairly small floor. I think what I'm gonna do is knock out this mummy and then place a bomb at its feet. Oh boy. Cool. Yeah, and that got us some cloth. Not that I can grab it at the moment. like to kill the... Yeah. Uh... I mean, I could just eat the miner's tree, but I don't even think that's worth it. Get rid of the slime. And the sap, for that matter. Moving on. And 17, not bad for our first day. You can see it's going to take a little bit more doing, though. That's a lot of slime. Oh, my God. Also, that's a, not a lot of HP. Go down. Gonna go ahead and mass eat some blackberries. 820, gotta keep an eye out on the time. I should have brought my one farm totem that I have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it pretty close though, if I'm honest. Good stuff. Go ahead and cut out all of that for you so you don't have to watch me munch and crunch for an hour. Ugh. A lot of disconnected stuff down here. Sure, I'll blow that up. Why not? These hallways rooms suck because it always means you're not going to get a lot of rocks in the same hall. Get my speed buff back. Oh boy, just what I wanted to see. More eels. Okay. That's fine. Maybe they can spawn a staircase for me, huh? I don't even know if infestation monsters can give you a staircase, but... 
If it's Popsicle, it's possible. Okay. That's four. Starting to think maybe they can't. I appreciate the bombs they drop. Gotta keep an eye out on my HP. I can take one more hit without being nervous. Cool. Munch again. It's one weird part of the Skull Cavern to talk about. Time moves slower in here. Not by a ton. I believe a hour in Stardew Valley is 45 seconds about. And in the Skull Caverns, it's actually 54 seconds. So do with that information what you will. Uh, it's not too crazy, but it's enough to feel it at least. They definitely wanted you to get the most you could out of these floors, Jade. Absolutely take that, except I can't. I got slime again. No, I want the Jade. I'll try to go probably until 12, maybe. That should be good, hopefully. Ah, we've reached Iridium Bat Floor. These things do a lot of damage. Please be careful. Luckily, they don't have as crazy of a hitbox as the other boys do. Anything I can give up for the Amethyst? Yes, there is. Anything I can give up for the Bat Wings? Yes, there is. Not that Bat Wings are crazy, but I'm gonna end up hitting myself. Cool. There we go. Nothing. All right. This might be the floor that does it. We're not finding a ton here. You can see why the gold pickaxe would be something you probably want to have. Oh, there was another bat there the whole time? Yeah, knock it into the bomb. Nothing. I did get one iridium ore. Oh, no, I have five just from blowing up rocks up to this point. Okay, we take those. Do bombs blow up the big rocks? I don't even know that. They don't. So don't rely on it. If that's what you're looking to get rid of. Yeah. Not sure about this floor, bud. Yeah, I'm not liking my chances. Oh. Gonna go ahead and mass eat real quick. I'd like to blow up all those rocks on the right and left before we head out, but... Things aren't looking too good for me. I'm gooped. And you don't love to be gooped. Ah, ended up hitting me. That's okay, it didn't goop me again. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna slap a bomb there. Here, see what happens. Love the sound that the armored bug makes, by the way, whenever it blocks an attack. Ugh. I hit myself with that bomb, too. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely going to be the last room. We're going to have to move on out. I think I've gotten a level. I feel like that... That tracks, right? One more bomb. You know what? It's a sign. Yeah, I know it's midnight. See, this is where the farm totem would come in handy, because I could... Yeah, I'm out. I'm gone. I'm not gonna die and leave, though. Well, I might. Yeah, it's only a thousand gold. And some items, I think. Hey, talk about a quick travel back to the town, though. Easy now. <laughs> Take it slow. Hey, fitting for the Skull Cavern. This is what you get. Someone found you unconscious and battered. I had to perform an emergency surgery on you. Be more careful next time, okay? We only lost, like, 400 gold, I think. Because it's ten... Oh, it's a whole thousand, apparently. As long as it's not my... Oh! Oh, cool. Just everything that was valuable. At least it wasn't the gold and the... Ugh, iridium. But 15 Omni Geodes? Well, don't you love to see it? Hey, we're back in town. We're not going to be late. <laughs> That's something... Yikes, though. Uh, catches two cat... Okay. Okay. Is it... E it's not even gonna rain tomorrow. Why even give us that? Weird. Anyway. Skull Cavern. Not easy. And I think you get the gist of it. We're probably not gonna go back for a while. We did get enough iridium for a little bit of iridium stuff, but... As of now... 
Uh, did we get an extra level in combat or mining? I don't think so, even. So, as of now, it's a little bit off limits. Because I'd like to be at least full level. Uh, energy wasn't a problem because we had to keep eating to keep ourselves alive anyway. I'm going to start putting food in here. Especially food that's good for the caverns. But, yeah. It's difficult. I'm going to try and go to bed before 11. Or 1. And I did it. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you all tomorrow where probably not going to go back to the desert because we've kind of covered everything there. You know what? We're going to check out the the sewers because we have the key for that now. See you all then and good night.